You know, one of the things that I find really interesting about AI is how instantly it's able to create stories or writing or or essays and able to do it with context that uh, it's very shocking. It's kind of spooky that it's able to do it in the way that it does. And I wanted to try it maybe for the first time, uh, definitely for this channel, uh, but I definitely wanted to try it to see whether or not it could explain something that's always bothered me about Star Wars. That's always bothered me specifically about the prequel trilogy, and that's the length of time of the Clone Wars. And we'll get into the more specific reasons why I feel that way and not just AI. But I thought that it was really interesting to, you know, give AI a prompt and then see what it would write as a result of it. Okay, so full transparency, I want to make sure that you know what it is that I wrote in there. Uh, I wrote a three bullet point page as to why the Clone Wars and Star Wars should have lasted 10 years instead of the three years that it did last. And this is what it came up with. And we're going to go with these, the three bullet points, we're going to go with them point by point. But it starts off with the title that it you know, AI created. It says reasons why the Clone Wars should have lasted 10 years. Okay, the first point is, and I'm I'm reading these for the first time right now. Okay, the first point is character development and story depth. Extending the Clone Wars to 10 years would have allowed for deeper character development and richer storytelling. Key figures such as Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Ahsoka Tano could have undergone more substantial arcs, revealing more about their motivations, struggles, and growth. This extended timeline would provide a greater opportunity to explore the complexities of war and the moral dilemmas faced by the Jedi. Okay, this is actually pretty good. I do think um, that this obviously is being a little more specific. I, I didn't mean that I wanted the Clone Wars show to last 10 years and it might be getting a little bit of that mixed up, but definitely it would have. I think one of the big problems that the Jedi face, right, you see this in um, Knights of the Republic when they're talking about the Mandalorian War and they're talking about the moral problems of the Jedi joining a war against the Mandalorians or an, on a galactic scale and that they're, you know, they kind of feel like they should be staying out of it. And then obviously Revan doesn't feel that way and, uh, and he gets a lot of Jedi to join him and they end up winning the Mandalorian Wars. But anyway, uh, this is true. I, th I think that there's a lot of moral dilemmas about Jedi joining a war and the different things that they have to face when they're in that war. War is an ugly, ugly thing. And having the Jedi who are paragons of virtue and they're, they're, they're filled with honor and chivalry, and then you put them on the battlefield, it's definitely going to have its, its problems. And the Clone Wars shows a lot of that. I really... Um, I really enjoy that. And to tell you the truth, I actually think that this is a really good point. I would love to see a lot more of these kind of moral dilemmas that slowly turn Anakin to the dark side. Now, I love Ahsoka, but, you know, I do agree with a lot of what the critics are saying about Ahsoka right now and that that Ahsoka should have died during Order 66 or maybe even more tragically died with Anakin during the war. I think that this arguably probably would have done a better job um, with helping Anakin's downfall um, than her surviving. I don't really like the fact that she survived. It does work pretty well for Rebels, but overall, I don't think it's as good for the story that she's still alive. Having said that, I do love the ending of Season 2 of Rebels where she meets with you know, Anakin as Vader and they have their last fight. And if that's the way that you wanted to have ended it, I also think that would have been perfect and just to have her die there. Uh, but they didn't do that, obviously. And she's she has very much so outstayed her welcome at this point. So that's actually a pretty good point from AI. And I, I, I do believe that there's something that can be said about, you know, pushing more of these moral boundaries uh, against the Jedi because it's such a difficult thing to go through war and not be pressed against, you know, your moral qualms when you don't agree uh, with it maybe in the moment, right? Like maybe it's okay to murder this Kill person him. because you think that you're going to save thousands by doing Kill it. You start getting into these Kill sort of philosophical dilemmas. I think that it's, I think that that would be very interesting to have seen. Okay, so the second one says, Galactic Impact and Realism. A longer conflict would better reflect the scale and impact of a galactic war. Three years feels relatively short, given the vastness of Star Wars galaxy and the numerous worlds involved in the conflict. A decade-long war would have showcased the prolonged suffering and the significant toll on the various planets and species, making the story more immersive and realistic. It would also highlight the widespread devastation and the difficulty of achieving peace. This is this is kind of weird that it's able to just take away. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm the one who typed in here that I think the Clone War should have lasted 10 years and it's able to take my side of the uh, my side of the fight, my side of the uh, debate uh, and able to do so very well. That's really creepy. Uh, honestly, AI kind of scares me a little bit, uh, but this is 100% true. 
I really would have loved to have seen a galactic impact that would have been far more devastating for the populace. Now, I'm not trying to downplay war, but I am saying that a long war is harder on a populace, psychologically, financially, it is much harder on a populace to be part of a very long war than it is to be a part of a war that's maybe only a few years long. And I understand that this is a galactic scale, but I actually think that that helps my fight more than it hurts it. And the reason why is because on a galactic scale, there's going to be planets that aren't even affected by this, right? And there's going to be planets that are affected so small that it doesn't even bother them. And it's three years long. And it being three years long, there's a really good chance that the majority of people were never even affected by this in a really large way. And I think that the Clone Wars kind of misses that. I think it misses that that long-standing battle where everybody is just miserable and, and, you know, psychologically miserable, economically miserable, and even maybe in war-torn areas or in places where, you know what I mean? Like when the separatists attack Coruscant, there could have been, uh, you know, there could have been clips or, or something that showcased people in these areas that were hit hardest by the droids and, you know, destroyed. And you can see the death and the people that are, you know, it, we could have seen something like that. And we didn't, you know, there really wasn't anything like that. There really kind of is a sense that the majority of what's going on uh, in the Clone Wars is basically on the separatist uh, planets or on the planets that separatists and the Republic are fighting for, you know, it's almost like third world countries. It just doesn't have that kind of impact. And you really want to kind of see how hard it is for everybody and how long it takes and how those people, they have kids and their kids are having to uh, grow up in it. And that would have been a much deeper and much more impactful um, way of explaining things. So let's go to the third point, political intrigue and Sith manipulations. Okay. 10 years of war would offer more room to delve into the political machinations and schemes orchestrated by the Sith. Palpatine's rise to power and the manipulation of both the Republic and the Separatists could be portrayed in a more intricate and believable manner. This extended period would emphasize the gradual erosion of democracy and increasing desperation of the galaxy, ultimately making the fall of the Republic and rise of the Empire more impactful. This is... This is... Honestly, guys, this is nuts. That's pretty good. Why would people allow for an empire to take over? Why, why would they even do that if you have a republic when it's a three-year-long war? You know what I mean? Why would you do that? Desperation is what allows people to do desperate measures. And three years, it would have to be such an absolutely devastating war. And remember, the war, while it impacts a lot of these kind of, I guess you can call them third world planets, or maybe planets that are not really a part of the Republic or kind of on borders where, you know, there's there's kind of a lot that's going on. While these things are, are certainly true, these things are certainly, you know, bad and they impact people, the majority of people, they're not sending their sons off to war, right? This is a war between clones and droids and Jedi. And the Jedi, they, you know, they don't have families. They don't have people waiting for them or hoping that they live. So there really is no impact on the populace. There is no impact. What we see is the impact that it has on the Senate. What we see is we see the impact that it has on elected officials, but not on the people electing them. And I think that's something that's really, and I'm talking mostly about the movies here. You certainly get a lot bigger grasp of that when you're uh, talking about the TV show, but the movies themselves are what are more important. In the movies, there isn't this feel that it's, there isn't this feel that is really impactful on the populace. And you know that these two disposable armies, they are not really harming anybody. They're harming their they're harming taxpayers with and their pocketbook. And there might be trade problems and there might be overinflated, you know, uh, blue milk or something. I don't know. But the, the reality is you would have you would have to have a much more desperate populace to allow for something like a republic to be turned into an empire. And it just isn't there. Into the first galactic empire. I think that what George did put, I think is wonderful. I think it's really great, but I do think that this is a missed opportunity and making it a three year long war instead of a seven or a 10 year long war. It really does. It really does take away from the amazing manipulative game that Palpatine is playing to be able to get all the pieces on the board under his control. Uh, I, I mean, remember, he's fighting a war against himself. The separatists work for him and he's also the chancellor of the public. So they are working for him. And it's it's really incredible how all of this works. But uh, I think this would have been far more impactful. I think that this would have made a lot more sense um, to make it 10 years long or to make it seven years long or something like that. And correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody may be able to say in the comments, I've been looking for a while now trying to find where I know 
know I know I've read or heard somewhere that during 2002 when the Attack of the Clones came out that the war was going to be seven years long and for whatever reason that's gone away. It took a lot of this away from me. It took the epicness away from me or the 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 plight of the galaxy was kind of diminished a little bit in my mind because three years is just not that long. I do think that there's something that's missing there. And I think that it would be far more impactful if we had had a much longer war. Now, the, the, the big reasons that I have are definitely Anakin. I, I think that the biggest mistake here is that Anakin turns in three years, that he's turning in three years. And I know it's not, I know it's not as simple as that. There's obviously stuff that's going on before the attack of the clones. And then there's obviously stuff that's going on in between between um, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, but it's always felt rushed. It's always felt like it just kind of sort of happened and there could have been a better way of doing that. I love the prequels. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to bash them, but I am trying to say that it would have helped to be, I think even now, to just say the Clone Wars were seven years long. They were 10 years long. Uh, I also think that it's kind of weird that, you know, Ahsoka ages and if she's aging in these three years, she goes from looking like a little kid uh, to looking like a young woman in just three years. And while that is something that can be realistic, it is a little bit odd. I think that it would have been far more impactful if she had actually grown into a young woman uh, on the show and then left the Jedi Order. And I think all of these things would have been very interesting. I do think it also would have been better that she died uh, during the Clone Wars with Anakin. I think that would have been a better way to describe how he starts falling to the dark side. Uh, but instead, they they don't do that. And Honestly, Dave Filoni seems to have kept kept her alive because it's his it's his character and he doesn't want to get rid of her. And I understand that, but it, you know, for the overall story, it would have been better that she died. That's my opinion, at least. Most of these things are are right that AI has written here. It's really interesting how it's done this. I, I, I'm kind of beside myself. You write a prompt now. Uh, also, to be fully transparent, I'm using Microsoft Word's AI that it has on Microsoft Word. It has the prompt. I just typed in the prompt and it wrote this thing out almost instantly. Uh, that's spooky. That's really spooky. Anyway, uh, tell me what you think. I really think that the Clone Wars would have done better if it had been anywhere between seven and 10 years. I think seeing a little more of how it impacted the the galaxy in the movies, I think would have benefited uh, and would have given us a far better look at the way that things, um, you know, were in the middle of a war and maybe would have helped to explain Anakin's fall and Obi-Wan's ascension into being a master. Remember, Obi-Wan is obviously not the best master for Anakin. He's barely a Jedi Knight when he gets a Padawan, but he eventually becomes the Obi-Wan that we see in A New Hope. And I think that more time would have helped to have made him seem you know, like somebody who's ready to be on the council, who's ready to be a Jedi master, who's ready to actually train Luke. I think it would have done a lot better job of making him a, an older Jedi, of giving him more years and experience in this war. Instead, he's he's still pretty young. And uh, I think that it's, uh, I think it makes a lot more sense uh, to have made this war longer. But anyway, uh, that's all I got for you today. I really want to know what you think about this. Do you think that the Clone Wars would have been better if it had been a longer war? And I know this is a discussion that's kind of outside of the normal discussion now, but I don't really want to talk about Disney this video. I really want to talk about, um, you know, the good parts of Star Wars and the prequel trilogy is awesome. And I, and I kind of wanted to delve into some of these aspects of uh, the prequel trilogy that I've always really wanted to talk about uh, on this channel. And, and this is really one of them. I, I really wish that the war had lasted longer, or at least that it was just written that it was, la that it had lasted longer. It feels far more impactful and epic that way. And obviously, uh, when you write the prompt, AI agrees with you. Uh, but anyway, um, tell me what you think in the comments. God bless you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.